Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench with you again. And I'm not sure if I'm going to tack this on. I can't even remember if I just dumped the videos on the storage or if I actually edited and made the movie to upload to YouTube. But in any case, uh, this is either going to be its own separate video or I'll add it to my storage video. And I did a video about... I need more storage as a content creator the size oh wow I always love it when shit looks like it's already been opened um, let's see tab tab no this one hasn't been opened uh, I don't know if this was just opened out of uh, force or what uh, but in any case my recent video about uh, expanding my storage needs uh, you know going hard drive versus SSD for my uh, video content uh i've had too many hard drives crash on me over the years and uh I'm, i've run out of ports uh, especially with the move to usb c so on my older computer maybe next year upgrade time on my older computer i have one usb c and this particular and i have usb uh drives as you saw so uh, using this USB powered hub gives me one data USB. So it doesn't give me anything more than I already have. But I'm wondering if, you know, as I, <coughs> excuse me, copy data, all my old uh, YouTube uploads, my channel uploads, if I copy those from my, those portable hard drives, which again, is a spinning disc to a USB, uh, excuse me, SSD, um, will the speeds be higher if I plug the USB drive in here and plug the USB-C drive in here to transfer over? Or is it going across the bus in my PC any faster? So I'll run some tests, and I'm going to guess that plugging this into USB-C won't give me enough juice to power uh, potentially either one, maybe, maybe one. I don't know about both, but I'll try that too. Uh, whereas this USB-C is, uh, this one's data, uh, this one's power. So, I think it's 5 watt power, if memory. Let's see. 100 watt, 5 watt, what is I talking about? 100 watt, 100 watt. I don't know what a, what is 100 watt power in terms of uh, uh, USB-C. So, uh, I don't know if my... Compute, yeah, I don't know. So we'll be testing. We'll be testing that. And uh, these were both, uh, you know, cheapies. Cheapies meaning 15 bucks, as opposed to my local uh, Best Buy or something wanting, you know, 40 to 60 dollars for a USB C hub. Okay, I can tell already. This one's a little, a little nicer. Uh, recycle. Okay. Uh, four port better on the instructions too. A lot more, a lot more detail. A whole lot of detail. Uh, I think it's very similar. Uh, one USB C. I think it's very, very similar. Very, very similar. You know, that's okay. So one USB-C as input. So, okay. The difference here is this is all USB-C. So I'm wondering, hey, the, 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 uh, the mind is uh, grinding. I'm wondering if I can daisy chain like, like that. So that gives me my ability to attach, you know, multiple US, uh, USB-3 devices um, and instead of just one USB-C, if I were to buy more of those flash or SSD drives, I could have one, two, three, four, four drives. So I don't know. So, uh, I will, uh, attempt to connect and, uh, maybe that'll be the update video. Um, are they both keepers? Is one a keeper, one a keeper, um, or both of them, uh, go backs because they don't do what I need them to do. So, uh, I'll run a little test back later.
honestly, I was not expecting the results I got. Uh, quite happy. So, I plugged this into my only USB-C port on my computer. And then I plugged the USB-C data drive, uh, the X9 drive, the crucial X9 drive, and it saw it. Uh, I saw this little blue light here light up as soon as I plugged it in. So I'm like, that's cool. My next step was to plug one of, I have two of the older uh, USB portable drives, plugged one in, saw both the Crucial, the Crucial and the USB uh, drive, portable drive, so SSD and USB hard drive, spinning disk. So then I thought, oh, I'm probably pushing my luck. Let me put the second one in. So I had two USB portable drives, the only two I own, and then the new Crucial SSD drive, the non-spinning disk, and that worked. So then I decided to push my luck and I disconnected the crucial drive, the USB, excuse me, the SSD. And then I connected this because this gives me one, two, three, four more connections. So I still had my two portable USB drives, spinning disk, which uh, the reason I love those portable uh, USBs are you don't need external power. Uh, it's it's driving power off the PC, and I wasn't sure that it would be able to, you know, push that power through these. So, again, my pleasant surprise was once I connected the Crucial to one of the ports here, I had my Crucial SSD visible, actually opened the drive to see if I could see it and access it. And I had each of the portable USB spinning drives attached to this. So I had my complete portable storage solution that I'm concerned about with the spinning drives. Because if those spinning drives fail, uh, there goes data. So I'm looking at you know a, a different data storage hierarchy of probably going to mirror the two portable drives, the USB... 3.0 spinning disk drives, mirror those, manually mirror those with something like a RoboCopy and some of the switches. So I think I'll, I'll do that. And then for other content, or, you know, I mirror them and one's a mirror on the USB spinning drive and one's a mirror on the U, on the SSD. I think having, you know, having at least a mirror set is better than not. Having two different types of technology in a mirror set is even better, meaning one spinning disk, one SSD. But, uh, you know, the the SSDs don't come in five terabytes. I don't need, uh, I'm not using the full five terabytes, but uh, I'm close to the four. Well, I, I still have to transfer the last maybe two or three, not months, eh, maybe six weeks of, of video files uh, from the YouTube channel. And I don't know if that will fill up or go past the four terabyte mark. I think I'm near the four terabyte mark. And once I pass the four terabyte mark, that uh, eliminates my uh, my uh, SSD. Or I look to purchase the some older four terabyte spinning portables so that the four terabyte spinning matches the four terabyte SSD footprint. And then I use the two five terabyte mirrors for working storage or other or something. Again, now I have to think about what I want to do with my storage uh, uh, architecture, my portable storage architecture. But I think it's going to be a mix, a blend of portable, uh, or rather USB spinning disk and uh, USB-C. So USB 3.X on the spinning disk and USB-C on the SSD. And uh, now I know that I can daisy chain so i don't have to worry about uh you know the 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 bottleneck of one pc uh, excuse me one usb c attachment on my computer i now effectively have uh have grown that to four with some very inexpensive uh devices uh this this usb c device is by ugreen and this mix of usb c and uh 
USB 3 is uh, made by ACASIS. I'm not even going to pronounce that uh, or try to. So uh, these were both, I think, uh, like 13 bucks. So for 26 bucks, it got me everything I needed, whereas the, the lowest cost solution from our friends at, uh, you know, a place like a Best Buy, no dings on Best Buy, just, you know, it's what they had, um, would be 40 to $60 for just one of these. Uh, and most of those are powered hubs. Um, so this, this can be powered. Uh, I don't believe this one can be powered. But this one can be powered with a 100 watt uh, USB-C. So uh, I'm going to have to look and see if I have uh, a USB-C cable on where I would attach that uh, for power. Uh, because again, that's just power. That's not data. And uh, the fact that everything I have right now works with these um, two hubs, uh, I don't know that I'm going to worry too much about that. So uh, I'm going to call these a win. Actually, that's not a good thumbnail. Maybe that's a better thumbnail. Got to make the thumbnail. All right. That's a good add to the channel. Later.